Welcome to Imperium Galactic Survival. Over there, it's a drone base by the Xerex. I came to a barren metal planet in the same system where I was in the last episode, right here. And uh, I found a drone base, but unfortunately, the Dragon, the Dagonaut is not very well prepared to attack the ground POIs. Actually, not at all. What I might do is actually retrieve a bunch of the turrets that I have installed that just work in space and replace them with a bunch of minigun turrets. But today, what I'm gonna do is actually go outside because in orbit I found some interesting things. In orbit of this barren metal planet I found a deep core mining, which should be interesting, a little station in space, I found a defense satellite and I found a few other things. And that's what I'm mostly interested in now, because that's what the Dagonaut is prepared for. Do you see that thing over there? It's a Tovira class Dreadnought. And uh, not that far away from it, an Emirat class Destroyer. There's a bunch of these stations by the Rados Agri Station, which I don't know. There's also other ships like the Atherton. There's also the Harkoon Sunseeker. But today, I'm gonna engage with the Dreadnought. And hopefully, the Emirat will mingle too. I would like to fight them both, possibly at the same time. In terms of setup, I had these things turned off because I went to explore the planet and I didn't want to engage with anybody. But I did some changes. I'm gonna have the artilleries attack generators because I think it will improve the efficiency of the artillery shots. It won't miss as much, I believe. In the last episode, I tried the plasmas against the drones, didn't work very well, so I'm just gonna have the, the plasmas on generators too. And the rockets, it's the only one that's gonna actually attack turrets, and I'm gonna keep the rockets on drones, because I think they're homing, so they should have a better chance of actually hitting the drones and defeating them. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Engage with a dreadnought, and hopefully the Emirat will come too. I'm getting close, and I think it's gonna be a, a little bit difficult to actually avoid one of them, which is nice. I want to engage with both of them. Yep. So why did I change the the, cha the 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 things that I did in the turrets? Because the plasmas were missing a lot the drones, and I think the rockets will have a better job at that. And the artilleries can also miss quite a bit if they target turrets. So I think having them on generators will improve the efficiency of the shots. So let's see how it goes. They're both shielded and the Tovira is very powerful. Let's go in. Let's target the Tovira first. If the other one wants to mingle. Let's see what the Duras will do. There you go. Nice volley. Probably gonna have to roll quite a bit because the Tovira has a lot of firepower. But its shield, it's going down. And I believe the Tovira regenerates the shield. So it's already out of... Out of shield. <laughs> Kinda surprised. I guess having... <coughs> Coming in, not rolling, kinda helps the turrets. Because I feel like when we roll... <coughs> excuse me. Some turrets might have a difficult time shooting. Because of the angle. Might have some blocks in front. But okay, so far so good. Let's see, is the Emirat engaging? Yeah, it's already losing its shield. Let's keep going. I'm at 60%. And let's see, how far am I from the Emirat? I'm kinda at a good distance from both of them. So let's, let's keep going this way. Let's keep rolling. Basically what I do is I press A, Q and spacebar. That's how I usually roll. And it definitely helps to avoid a lot of incoming damage. Oh yeah. But the Dovira looks really nice, doesn't it? Like a big cross. Hopefully it's running out of generators already. I don't think so. But it would be nice. Let's put some shots into it. Just shoot in that general direction. There you go. The Imrat has 8% shields. There you go. I see my turret shooting both of them, and I'm still at 38%. I'm gonna try to go maybe uh, down to 25. At 25, I'm gonna back out. Nice. They both are a shield. There we go. Another rocket. There it is. This is a good distance, about 800 meters. Not too shabby. 
If I stop roll, I'm pretty sure my shield will go down fast. So let's keep it this way a little bit more. Yeah, I'm getting a little close from the Imarat. Let's target it right now. Just point at him. Some drones coming along, but it should be okay. My shield is holding on above 30%. If I would if I manage to take the generators out of the Himarat would be a good help. But the Tovir is already recharging, so let's target him again. Let's get a little closer. Maybe we'll help the turrets decide to target this one. There you go. Out of turrets again. Not turret shield. There you go. What the hell is going on? Oh, the, the drone exploded right in front of me. That was the sound. It always scares me. When I hit that big explosion, was it my ship? No. So, okay, 26%. I think it's time to back off a little bit. Because these drones uh, do a good job uh, destroying my shield. Definitely. So, let's ping it. Let's see if someone else came around. I don't think so. Those... Uh, things over there i think they're mostly stations and uh, besides the harcoon and there are certain but they are really far away so i'm just gonna wait a little bit unfortunately the tovera is already recharging too but i think i already put some nice damage into it my shield was almost at 50 and they're still on these 20s so i'm gonna try to put myself in a position where i'm actually kind of at the same distance from both of them i think it will help there you go the, the emirates getting a little close let's go in again let's go in I'm kind of at the same distance, so it should be okay. Let's try to defeat the Tavira's shield again. It's possible that he is already out of some turrets because of my rocket work. And the Emirat too. Let's just take its shield. There you go. These pulse lasers do a good job. Oh boy, I got a little too close from that one. No, no. Yeah, that's the problem of fighting two ships at the same time. It's very easy to lose track because they move around. They reposition themselves. And if I get too close, it might not be very good for me. There you go. So now a little bit far from the Tovira. Let's get a little close. Let's keep rolling. There you go. It's a patient man's game. It definitely is. I can just rush these things, otherwise I'm not gonna have a ship. If I lose the shield, I lose the ship. That's the situation that we have here. These two of the Xyrex, they have a bunch of armor. I think they might even have some Xeno in their ships. I have none of that. I have plastic. And acceleration. So uh, I can't really afford to go below 25% because it could be just a second before I lose the whole shield. So the Emirate is a little bit far. Let's see where the thing is. So I'm a little bit outside of range. Let's get close. He still doesn't have a shield. Let's ping it again. There you go. Let's put some more damage into it. I think I still have a bunch of ammo. Oh, it already has the shield, but 10%. There, there he goes. One plasma volley and 10% go away. Put some shots into one, some rocket right there in the middle. I think I'm in a good position. I'm either above or below. So there's a good chance that I might target the core from here. It's somewhere over there, next to the bridge. But it does have a bunch of armor, so it's not going to be a fast thing to, to accomplish. There you go. But I think that was a good shot. There's that real little red thing. That's kind of where I'm pointing at. More or less to that area. With the rockets. Where's the, the Imarat? So the Imarat's going a little bit away. Let's leave him before. Let, let's focus one little bit in the Tavera. And my shield is 20%. So I think it's a time to back out a little bit. I can't really continue this fight right now. Let me just recharge. And I'm pretty sure that the Tovira has a bunch of damage already. Let's just see how I am in terms of ammo. So I still got a bunch of plasmas. Kind of getting down on the pulse lasers. I'm going to back off of them a little bit. And I still have a bunch of rockets. And artillery I'm also doing okay. I actually placed a little bit of uh, stone into this box. 
to free a little bit the stone that I have in the components box. So let's put all the rockets in there and let's see if I can fit the artillery here. There you go. So now I ex actually have an extra box to store some stuff, not too shabby. So let's see where they are. Four kilometers away. He might be backing out. Did I scare the Tovera? Oh, let's chase him out then. And this time I think I'm going to go with third person so you can actually see a little bit better what I'm doing. Uh, just to give a different perspective. Perspective. Perspe uh, what? Because uh, I kind of like to see my ship too. So, uh, okay, so it's already at 70%. But I feel like in first person it's a little bit easier to aim. And uh, my cockpit's really nice because I can see very well from there. So let's just go in with a nice roll. The Emirates is somewhere in the direction of that Spire satellite. So let's just focus on the Dreadnought a little bit. There you go. Nice. 1%. I'm at 65 almost. Oh yeah, this is a good place to be. 65 against 0. Oh, I like it. So I discovered a Spire satellite. It might have defenses, so this is not good. It looks like they're trying to look for cover from the, from the stations themselves. They flew towards the Spire satellite. I don't know that POI, but I figure it must have some turrets. But it's still at 2 kilometers away, so for now at least it should be okay. But yeah, in first person it's just better. I can actually see the ship better too. But there you go. Okay, so let's use rockets here. I don't see that red thing. I'm not sure where the bridge is. Let's see if I can readjust my position. Yeah, but once I stop rolling, uh, the damage... There you go, I see the red thing over there. Let's shoot it, and now let's roll. Yeah, the Toveri is very fast. They can maneuver very fast with their thrustage. They got some nice thrustage. And I believe it's way over CPU. Even though he might have some tier 4 extenders, I think he doesn't have a, an advanced core. And it should, because <laughs> I believe it's way above 10 million. So where's the others? Let's see. Defense station. I'm not sure where the Emirat is right now. It's over there, it's getting close. Oh yeah, I'm getting close from that thing. Let's try to go from that side. Yeah, but the Tavir is really fast. I don't think I'm going to be able to get away from all of them. So let's just get close. 10%. Zero. Rockets in. I like it. I hope that my artillery targeting generators will pay off. Well, let's see. Because the problem is the Tovira might have a bunch of generators. I could actually also change everything just for turrets to actually take all of them out of him and then I could get much closer and start targeting the core because I do believe that it has less turrets but maybe not enough for me to get close But I see a bunch of holes. Around that red area in the front, there's a big old hole there. There you go. If I manage to core it from here, that would be awesome. I could retrieve the generators, the turrets, and everything else. I'm with 300 meters. I might have got a little too close from it. Also, I don't know where the others are. They could be shooting me too. Oh yeah, but I think... I I'm doing a nice a nice work on it. 28%. Yeah, I think it's time to back out again. Let's back it out. Let's ping it. Third person, where is everybody? Where is everybody? Am I backing out into trouble? Uh, I don't even see. So the Emirates over there is already fully recharged. But okay. I don't see the Spire satellites. Yeah, I really don't see the Spire satellite. I don't know where it went. But it should be somewhere around here. Every station. Okay. I My shield is recharging, so I'm in a good spot here. So I'm gonna go for that notion. Let's put everything in, in turrets. Let's try to defeat all the turrets. 
I think it was a good idea because I managed to... I could have gotten lucky and uh, hit the core by targeting the generators, but I didn't. So let's put in... Uh, for some reason, I might have forgot to... Yeah, I forgot to actually set the, the, the rockets foot towards. I forgot to press this button here. Hmm. So everything on turrets. 54%. Let's go in. Where's the Emirates? They kind of uh, the same, oh, oh, both there. So let's go in. Let's go in. All turrets now. Let's take some of, it, of its firepower out. There you go. So where are they shooting? They're shooting here in the wings. Let's help them out. There you go. I think I'm gonna try to keep shooting to that red area. Wait. Right there. There you go. 30%, yeah, I stopped rolling, but that's fine. And each time they're gonna go in, I should be able to stand a little bit longer. Because I'm pretty sure I defeated a few turrets on this volley. Even though I can't really see them. But, uh, okay, 23%. Kinda pushing my luck, yeah. 22, yeah, gonna have to back out again. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. The points are going down, so I'm destroying some blocks. Oh yeah. So the Spire Satellite is still over there. Three kilometers away, not too shabby. So I'm gonna keep going for the Tovira. I'm gonna leave the Imarat for later. If he wants to mingle, he's gonna get shot. But let's focus on the Tovira. There we go. Nice. Shoot it out. There we go. Nicely done. So my ship is totally focused on the Tovira right now. It's 500 meters away, which is good. This is a good position. Oh yeah, I like it. I like to see things blow up in Xyrex ships. Be so nice if I hit the, the quarry one shot now. Oh, yeah. But look at that. I'm very close. And I'm already friendly with the pirates. And it's not shooting as much, is it? I don't think it is. Look at the amount of holes that he has. Oh, yeah. Nice. So let's see if I can actually get really close to it. Oh, yeah. Let's use some of this. The problem is the Emirat could take the chance to get close. Let's see where it is. Yeah, there he goes. He comes to defend his body. So let's get close from this side. We got turrets here. 39%. There you go. Nice. Yep, time to back out. The Emirat uh, came to defend him. The Tovira is almost done. The Tovira doesn't have a chance now. It's gonna go down, and after that the Emirat's gonna go down. Nice. Defeating a Tovira and Emirat at the same time. Oh, that's great. Are you trying to run away, buddy? No, no, you don't. You shouldn't stray away too far from the Emirat, you know. You're kinda dependent on him right now. Because I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna finish you off. Maybe not this time, but the, the few, in a few times I will. Oh yeah. There we go. 20%. 16. 0%. So where are your turrets? There's one. Let's use these things. The pulse lasers. There you go. There's another rocket turret out. Or maybe something else. 37%. Let's get below. There's a, there's a lot of holes there. The cores should be somewhere around here. There we go. He's trying to maneuver around. Trying to protect his core. I'm not gonna let him. Let's keep on him. Still at 40%. Nice. 
The core is around here somewhere. Yeah, he's trying to rotate. He still have a bunch of thrusters. I could also target the thrusters to not let him do this. But uh, then again, if I separate the, the damage too much, it will be less efficient. I don't know. I kind of feel like... They, oh, it's not a core. I blew the Tovira's core out. You're dead, buddy. Oh, that was awesome. Mr. Imarat, now it's you and me, buddy. Yes, indeed. So, in fact, I think, uh, well, I'm gonna have to leave the Torbeva for now. Hopefully, it won't despawn. There's a good chance of that. But I'm gonna target just generators for the Imrat. It doesn't have it nearly as much firepower as the Torbeva had. So, I think if I just go for generators, it'll be a fast fight. I'll finish him off quick. So, let's just do that change. Let's go for all the turrets on generators. I'm gonna try not forget to press the apply to group. Otherwise, he won't assume the new the new the new order let's just check everything on generators let's go in mr imarat you are xyrex's last hope which means there is no hope only me <laughs> so let's see go i really like the artillery volleys and the sound oh it's real sweet i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna target try to target over there and the emirate has a big old room with a bunch of generators and they're all in the kind of the same room and i think it's done he still has the core but he has no more generators he has a big old room right here in the middle and they're all out there's just a hole uh, I don't remember where the core is, but the Tovira is our core. So let's meet the Tovira. Let's go inside it. Let's see what it has to offer. I was gonna say poor thing, but not really. I'm not sorry for it at all. The Tovira... A dead Tovira is a good Tovira. So I'm gonna core it from my ship, since it doesn't have one. And let's just pick one and put the core inside. There it is. The Tovira is mine. Before I go in, another change that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the plasmas to also attack NPCs to defend me, even though the rock is already doing it, I think having more help from the plasmas is gonna be helpful. So I was trying to park myself either above or below, and uh, below my ship is actually just artillery, so I think I'm gonna go below so that my rockets and plasmas can see it. Okay, I think right here should be okay. Let's go in. There's still going to be a bunch of them, so I think I'm going to bring in the plasma. And I might do a few changes in terms of armor, because in the barrel metal planet the temperature was really high and really low. So I'm currently wearing this three. Let's change it up for something more suitable for space. Think like they should work. Just the EVA and three multis. Uh, in fact, I could actually put three armors, because since I'm in space, I don't really need the mobility. And uh, the reds should be okay. So three armor, 330 armor. I think that's a good idea. Just protect it against the cold. And I can just fly around. So it should be okay. So it's above me. Yeah, still here. Nice. So let's see what you got. There we go. And a cool thing. Uh, it just doesn't have any ammo. But I could definitely, since it already has my core... So it doesn't have any extenders, I might have blown them up. And in fact, it seems to be below 10 million, but of course, he's missing a lot of blocks and turrets. Uh, so that's why the CPU is much lower. Yeah, might be the case. So let's just pick up all the oxygen. From the Tovira. And the fuel. About 200. Nice. I think I'm just gonna load them like this, and then let's go in. I think I got all the boxes. I got a few things to sell, some resources, some charges, nothing spectacular. So let's go in. Let's see what we can retrieve, find some nice boxes, that would be nice. So first let's go for where the core should have been. I think it should have been somewhere around here, in the front. There's still a few thrusters. And uh, there's a shield. Let's just retrieve it right away. Let's connect to my ship, and uh, let's see. 
to the MO4. Should be empty. Yeah, let's connect to this one. I have a little bit more room on this one. There you go. One shield for me. Thank you very much. I don't hear anybody. I guess maybe coring the ship is what actually prevents them to spawn. Might be the case. Oh yeah, look at this big ass turret. It's a plasma turret too. Let's see if it remains... It, it changed to a projectile. There you go. So sometimes it changes. For 15,800. That's a lot of them points. Okay, but I can harvest these things. It still has a lot of thur thrusters, as you can see. Let's find some nice boxes. If there are some. Yeah, this, uh, this ship is in shambles. Let's uh, be honest. There's a big fire. Oh, there you go. There's one nice box. And, well, could have been worse, couldn't it? <laughs> I think it got a hundred Xeno blocks. Not too bad. So let's uh, take it out. This is Xeno. Let's dismantle it. Oh, there they are. The extenders. So this must have been the, the core room right here. These are the tier 3s. There's another nice box. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Found it! That's the one that I want. Boo, boo, boo. So let's put it there here. Uh, for now. Actually, let's put it there. Let's put it right here. There you go. So I'm gonna change it up for the laser minigun. He uses the same ammo. Oh, that was sweet. Look at this baby. Oh, yeah. This is the same sound. Yeah, sweet. There's also pretty cool, a plasma thumb something. Uh, but this one is just tremendous. Oh, baby. What a good find. There you go. These extenders are nice too. Tier 4. So he has both. Tier 4s and tier 3s. And they're going where? There they go. 4 tier 4s and 1, uh, one tier 4 and 4 tier 3s. Not too shabby. Let's see. I already took out the fuel. There you go. Bunch of container extensions. And uh, yeah, I don't really know where the looting box is. There's another. It has two shields. Interesting. That's uh, very interesting. I never seen that. I didn't know it had two. So, uh, yeah, it's a very big ship. It's gonna be a while to uncover it all. Well, let's try. Let's see if I can find another nice box. These windows are nice. It's just steel. So, what's behind? Okay, let's take these boxes. I already looted them from inside. There you go. Nice. Oh, yeah, there's the cargo box. Uh, the cargo hangar. Let's take all of them out. Not, I don't want the boxes. I just don't want to uh, keep them. If I already looted them, you know, that's the only. So let's see here. Another big hangar. Ain't nobody showing up. Nice. They bolted it. I didn't un uncore this thing. They actually uh, ran away. Chicken shits. You know, that's what happened. Yep. So let's see here. This is the outside. There's a nice, a few nice turrets here. Okay, so we can actually... A couple of shutter doors. Not too shabby. So let's see upstairs. What do we got around here? Oh yeah. Maybe a few lockers in this place. There you go. A bunch of beds. And there it is. These things usually have. Oh, in the cryo chamber. Nice. Oh, he's out on the outside. There you go. Some lab stuff. And this is blown to smithereens. There's a nice box. Oh, some meds. Sweet. So, yeah. Most of the boxes could be in space. So, uh, it's gonna be hard to find them all. But then again, it's kinda hard to defeat a big old ship like this. And keep it intact. So, 
We gotta, we gotta take what we can. And uh, what about this one? Already looted, so let's take it out. I reach another big old hole. So let's go for this thrusted area. Let's see if there's something here. Yeah. Might be hard to find something else. But, so there's a few boxes here. A bunch of these things. I think this is like a prison. I have a few cells. And no hidden boxes here. That's the hangar that was before. Uh, I don't think I've seen the bridge. I think I blew it up to pieces. Right? Because it should have been next to the core, maybe. Let's see here. Very easy to get lost inside this thing. I want to go a little bit to the wings. Let's go here to the wings because that's where the big thrusters are too. And they could we have an, uh, some nice boxes here. Let's see. If this is not too destroyed. Oh boy. Not much left. Yeah. It's uh yep, it used to be something here. I found another box. Let's see what it has. Nice. Some stuff I can sell. Uh and the gold is nice too. So let's put it all in. There you go. And um there might be a few other ones uh, that I haven't found yet. Oh, there's another one. Oh, more extenders on this side. Was this the same room? No, this is a box that I already looted. Yeah, I just forgot to pick up these extenders. There you go. Nice. There's a, a bunch of cool thrusters on this side too. So let's see. There's something like here in between these pillars pretending to be those pillars. take them out and uh, okay let's get these thrusters is this oh yeah there's more here from the outside it should be a little easy of course but i'm deep inside xyrex territory so uh they could have other ships coming my way so i'm gonna have to be careful when i go out at least here i have some protection i use a lot of these windows inside to protect the main components with, but with enough firepower, it just they just don't have a chance. It ends up going everything into shit. But there you go. How much room do I got? Okay, I still got plenty of room. On this side of the ship, it's also uh, shambles. Shambles all the way through. They must have had a lot of turrets here on these wings. That's why it's completely destroyed. And uh, I'm out of range. Yeah, I can actually put it in here. And pick it up later, if I remember. And uh, there you go. Some more turrets. Uh, thrusters, I mean. And let's just take a nice overview. I'm gonna go through it, trying to find more components. Still has a bunch of turrets, of course, on the outside to retrieve, but I would definitely like to find another box. But uh, that one that I found was just awesome. An EM pulse rifle. That was sweet. So, uh, this was the biggest test, one of them, that I could give the Dagonaut. Fighting an Imarot and a Tovira at the same time. And I managed to destroy them both. Of course, fighting legacy ships at the same time is also challenging but this is definitely one of the biggest challenges we can find in Imperion and I managed to pull through it was awesome it was fun and I hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and until next time